everybody, Psycho Commandos here in the gym already, I see ya. Hey, how's it going? It's that time, it's time for cardio. Psycho, let's go, let's go, I hear ya, I see ya. Alright, so today is a bike ride. Um, so we'll, we got lots to talk about, I'm gonna reset the timer, we're gonna hop on the bike. Um, so basically, we're still taking it easy, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get on the bike right away here, and then we can update everybody on what's going on. But we're back on schedule. We're here ready to go. We're doing a bike ride. Uh, we're targeting 45 minutes on the bike this morning. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. So good morning to everybody. Hey, I'm your host, Liberty Street Rock, right here in the gym, ready to go. We're back on schedule. The calf is about, I'd say, 80 plus percent better. These workouts uh, uh, I've been making this week have been killing. Yeah, dude. <laughs> me too. Let me tell you. Me too. Uh, I did two yesterday. In the morning yesterday, I did chest and tries. In the afternoon, I came back to catch up and I did back and buys. Oh, dude. Like I tell you, jacked, totally pumped. Um, yeah, the, the workout, I'm actually, I gotta admit, I'm actually very happy with the workouts themselves. The workouts have been really, really good. Um, so I've been happy about that. Um, on that note, um, yeah, uh, you know, got a little bit behind the eight ball this week, which is a little unfortunate, uh, fighting the cold. I, and funny enough, I'm getting ready to, you know, get ready to work out. And I'm still like, I'm starting, like all of a sudden it's like I'm sniffling again here. Uh, okay, so, so far my timing is good. The workouts last about 90 minutes with two to three minutes rest between sets. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That, I mean, honestly, I mean, even right now for me with my workouts, so I don't include my prep time because you're going to a gym, everything's right there. But uh, I got to kind of set up a little bit for doing these giant sets. So it takes me about 10 minutes or so, give or take, to, to set everything up with the way I want to do it for my workout. You know, maybe five minutes. Sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's five. Um, again, that being said, um, basically my workouts are only taking me, the actual workout is only taking me between about 50 minutes, maybe 55. So I'm pretty happy with that, quite honestly. Um, I can't really complain. Um, I don't think I've yet gone 100% all out. Um, I think I've got close. Uh, only because being a little under the weather, you know, like meaning fighting a little bit of a cold on and off. Um, and then on top of that, like the calf <laughs> kind of screwed things up a little bit. So I haven't got as much hit cardio done as I wanted, but that's okay. Well, you know, like, you know, facing adversity is all part and parcel of what we, you know, got to go through on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, uh, but overall, very happy with, uh, with how the, the workouts are progressing. Um, you know, they're intense. They're intense. I, I've been watching yours and yours are definitely intense, right? I mean, uh, there's no doubt about it. To start the year off and like do like going shooting for PRs, <laughs> a whole week of just PRs, yeah, that's insanity, man. It's crazy, but it was solid. It was good, right? But uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Now, changing gears for a sec. Now, this weekend we are uh, between Friday night and the Saturday morning. We got like 20 centimeters of snow coming. That's what they're predicting. And on top of that, going into the weekend, dude, we are dipping down into some frigid cold temps. Like this will be like the first super cold spell of the winter. So not super thrilled. <laughs> not super happy about this at all. But uh, that's what the doctors ordered apparently or what mother nature has put forward. And that's what's going on. So we are going into some, we are hitting down to like between minus 10 and minus 15. I don't know where my music disappeared to. Look, it got awfully quiet there. There we go. Um, yeah. So 
we are going to be into some pretty cold temps. That uh, means the old basement down here is going to get cold. I've been actually, like, seriously giving a lot of thought to insulating this. Uh, so, yeah, that, I, I know, it's, it'd be a lot of work. I gotta move everything from this side over to here to get it done. It would take me probably a week to get it all done. But it is on the agenda. I'm giving it a lot of thought. I may not do it till the spring once the summer gym's open. But it's something that I, I'm giving a lot of thought to now. Yeah, it's just getting, it's just so cold down here. And if I'm gonna spend all this time down here, it's like, yeah, we, we gotta get her. Yeah, I won't be down here in a t-shirt next week. I'll be wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> I'll be wearing a sweatshirt down here. So, anyways, so uh, that's what's going on. Uh, if you're a hockey fan, my Leafs are doing pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy about that. We've got that to talk about. Uh, they play again tonight. I think they're I think they're actually on Long Island, New York. Uh, Long Island tonight playing the Islanders. I think that's where they are. And uh, and on top of that, we have the All Star game coming up in about three weeks. So that's pretty cool. And that's right here in Toronto. So that's cool. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, winter's about to really go into full gear. Not too happy about that though. <laughs> Not super stoked about that. It's starting to get yeah. It'll, it almost snowed. Yeah, dude, we we got snow, uh, not yesterday, but the day before. But halfway through the snowstorm, it warmed up and it turned into a rain fest. Dude, we are talking slop fest city. It was so wet and sloppy out there. It was just slush and, and uh, yeah, it was pretty ugly. But it was all gone within, like, you know, hours. It was all gone. But anyways, um, but we do have, we do have 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters is like, I guess about 10 inches. So we got a lot of snow coming. Yeah, uh, we got about at least, yeah, 20 centimeters. Got to be 10 inches, right? 30, no, maybe not 10, maybe 8. Yeah, about, uh, yeah, because 30 centimeters is 12 inches. So 20 centimeters, yeah, 7 or 8 you know, I don't know the official math, but it's around there. It's a lot anyways. I'll be definitely warming up my snowblower. <laughs> I'll be getting that snowblower out, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to get ugly. Like, and we're going into, like, this deep cold, like, where we're going to be below zero for days, like, probably a week or two, like, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. Well, you got the measurement system there on the on, on the uh, D, on the D thing right there. Yeah, I know. Twenty centimeters. Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, so twenty. Yeah, so I thought it was I thought it was two centimeters per uh, inch. I could be wrong on that, but anyways, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, it's enough that like it's it's and the worst thing is, dude, it's coming in overnight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's coming in overnight. So that's even worse. So, anyways, we'll, uh, we'll manage. Yeah. Yeah, we'll manage. We always do. So, yeah, so we got all that looking forward to. Um, the theme for January is still hit cardio. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to do as much as I wanted to. Um, but we'll, we'll be back at her. I think by next week, this cap will be fully healed up. And we'll get back to some of the hit cardio because I really still want to hit cardio. Like we still got to get, we want to hit January with all out hit cardio. So it's on the agenda, um, but we just got to get this calf to fully heal back up. Um, and it's almost there. It's still a little bit tender, but it's it's getting there. So yeah. Oh, let me. Uh, So what are you doing this morning? What's on the agenda this morning for you? What's uh, what are you what are you doing? Shoulders today? I got shoulders this afternoon, so that's what I'll be doing. 
Uh, a little more tension on this. Here we go. Yeah, so we, we got the, the big boulder shoulder workout this afternoon. I got to admit, I don't actually remember what the heck's on the schedule. I think we do uh, the Bradford press. Uh, then we do rear laterals, rear delts, side delts. Um, and I don't actually remember what the other exercise was. Uh, sh uh, was it shrugs? No, it can't be. I don't remember. I'll have to look at it later. Okay, so we're doing a steady state ride here today. Uh, shooting for 45. That's the goal here. And the only reason I'm doing uh, 45 minutes of this uh, is because of the calf. I don't want to get into jumping around, too much walking. Um, it's still a bit tender. It needs it needs a few more days of recovery time. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So hopefully, let's see. Today's Thursday. Yeah, Saturday. We'll see. Um, we'll see how we are Saturday. Uh, I definitely want to get the battle ropes back out. I have not had the battle ropes out in a while, so I definitely want to do that. That that is on the agenda. Um, rowing, we'll see how the calf is. I got to see how the foot positioning is on that if I want to try rowing. So that's something else we'll, we'll give a bit of thought to. We'll see how, how it's feeling. Um, there won't be a, an abundance of walking or anything the next few days. It's, uh, it's spreadsheet time for me. So I'll be pretty tied up in front of the computer for the next few days. So. Uh, that's not too bad, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Hey, don't forget if you're lurking out there, you're hanging out, uh, hey, if you're not following, throw us a follow, appreciate it. I'm Liberty Street Rock, this is the home gym, this is where we get it done, and uh, hey, if you're not following, smash that follow button, appreciate it, and uh, we'll get you some push-ups after the bike ride's over. So that's... Uh, that's what we do here when you follow. Don't forget we are multi-streaming as well. Uh, we're on the main channel Twitch, and we are also on YouTube and Kick. So hey, if you're following there on either or, smash those follow buttons, smash those subscribe buttons, appreciate it. We're getting our cardio in. It's all part of the, the game plan for January and February. Um, we're getting in as much cardio as we can. Uh, every day, Monday through Saturday, we do all different uh, forms of cardio from hit cardio, steady state cardio. We do some classic hit cardio Tabata. We do classic step cardio. We do rowing. So I do all different types of uh, cardio to keep it fresh, uh, which I really enjoy. I don't like doing the same thing every day. I like to keep it going, keep it fresh, keep it new. Um, so that, that's kind of what we're doing. The, the most uh, recent addition was our kettlebell workout. So that was kind of cool. I've never done that before. So kind of did it in the same vein on a 25 second, 15 second timer. 25 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. And we did all sorts of different types of exercises for a full body kettlebell workout, which was pretty cool actually. And the other most recent one we did earlier in the year, first week uh, was a landmine, a full body workout using the landmine. So that was pretty cool too, actually. So again, bringing some new ideas to the table, trying them out, giving it a go. So I was pretty happy with the way uh, those worked out as well. So yeah, the afternoon workouts, we completely revamped those as well for the new year. So for January and February, we're doing giant sets. So Basically, I picked four exercises, 
and so for yet for yesterday was back. So we did four exercises for back, twelve reps each, and we went right through each exercise. First one was a close grip pull up. Second one was a uh, shoulder width, uh, kind of like a, a pull down on a forty five degree angle. Uh, then we went to a traditional lat pull down, and then we went to a seated cable row using a straight bar as opposed to the close grip, it was more of a straight bar again, uh, working those lower lats. Um, so yeah, it was uh, 48 reps in a row. Uh, let me tell you, by the time you're done, you're, you're a hurt unit. Uh, and I was definitely feeling it. The back was really jacked and pumped up, really felt it. Uh, and then for biceps, once we did four rounds of that, four sets of four exercises, uh, the back was pretty taxed and pretty, pretty pumped up and jacked. Then we moved over to biceps. Um, so the first one was a preacher curl, but this time it was, uh, and I did it with a cable on my pulley system here, but it's close grip. So you've got your hands close together, you're doing a close grip preacher curl, and then you leave there, and you go to something that most people would never do, but it's a, a you're crouched down, bent over, with a 90 degree angle doing a curl where you can't cheat. There is, it's it's all bicep muscle and strength curling. You've got no way to cheat and kind of get a little bit of a cheat swing motion. There's none of that. Your, your elbows are resting on your knees. You're bent right over and you've got a curl. Now it, I had written there to do it with a straight bar, but I used my easy curl bar. It's a little easier on my wrist. But I did it like that. Again, amazing. And then standing up and doing an alternate dumbbell curl. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> by the time I was done, I mean, my arms were just completely uh, jacked and pumped and taxed and tired. So, it was a great workout. Um, so, yeah, we got shoulders this afternoon. So, we're sticking with these giant sets for the first two months of the year. That's what I'm going to do. And um, lots of different reasons why. Um, one, of the, one of the bigger ones is uh, it, it helps get a great pump. Really, it really, really uh, gets the blood into the muscle and you get a phenomenal pump. And, you know, most people get under, they'll do a bench and they'll do like eight or 10 reps and, okay, rack it, okay, done. Let's, you know, wait 30 seconds, a minute, minute and a half, two, and then they go back in. And, and like, you're not getting a pump. And uh, for guys uh, like myself, and I can only speak for me, but historically speaking, it, sometimes as we get a little older, it's harder to get a pump. And, uh, I just decided, I read about this workout, this is actually inspired by the late great Vince Duranda, and um, I just, I was reading about it, and I, I mean, I'm certainly very familiar with Vince Duranda and who he trained back in the day, and, um, and I saw the workout, and I read the workout program, and I was like, yeah, I had to change a couple exercises up, though. Um, there are certain ones I just, I can't do for either lack of equipment, or uh, it just isn't something that I can or can't do. I just, I, I did switch up a couple exercises um, for exercises that I can do comfortably here. So, like I don't have a leg press, but I do have the ability to do a hack squat, oddly and strangely. He's a huge supporter and proponent of, of hack squats, just changing your foot position. So I was kind of shocked by that. Um, so anyways, uh, I've curtailed it and kind of uh, put my little stamp on a couple exercises that I uh, that I put in there and changed up so uh, very happy with the workout so far happy with the progress so far um, yeah like it's it's uh, it's definitely very good so we're gonna continue with that I was only gonna do it for January um, I was I was only gonna do it for one month but due to uh, getting a little bit behind schedule we've caught up now uh, I think I'm going to do it though, I've decided I'm going to do it for two months. So we're going to keep the same schedule, or the same workout uh, routine for the couple of months. And uh, and as I get closer to the end of 
uh, February, which is a short month anyways, um, we'll uh, look at changing things up and uh, making some uh, changes to the program. I'll, you know, maybe go back to my more traditional, you know, routine, but we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself yet, but that all being said, I am actually enjoying it, so, uh, which is good. You don't, you don't want to go to the gym and hate your routine like that. It's not, <laughs> that's not the, that's not the program or the plan. You want to be going to the gym because you want to go and you love what you're doing, so, uh, and again, we all are guilty of having exercises that we like to do versus ones we don't do, and, uh, and uh, obviously in a home gym, not to say that I'm, you know, I can only do certain things. I don't have a leg press, but I can pretty much do everything else here, give or take, within reason. So I'm pretty happy with what I'm capable of doing in my gym. So um, we don't have too many excuses on, you know, not doing this or that. But Okay, where are we here now? Let's see our timing here. Uh, I think we're at... Yeah, we're at 20 minutes already, so almost halfway there. Not bad. Let's go, let's go. I see my noisy bike. I haven't figured it out yet as to what the heck is causing all the noise. There we go, we're back. Music is playing. Let's grab a drink. Chat's open if you want to chime in, stop in, say hi, let me know. Okay. So this afternoon, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we will be knocking shoulders out of the park. That's on the agenda. So looking forward to that already. First we'll get through this workout and then we'll get to that one later. Gotta get a little meal prepping in this afternoon too as well. Definitely gotta get some uh, stuff cooking. We've uh, run a little low on some of the food that we cooked up on the weekend, so we'll get that done as well. We are listening to copyright free music that we're allowed to play here. This is Soul Freight Music on YouTube, so if you're not familiar with them, look them up. Soul Trait, S-O-L-E-T-R-A-I-T, Soul Trait Music. They're gracious enough to allow us to use their music, so we appreciate that. Okay, we're going to increase that tension a little bit more. We've got the heart rate going now. We can feel it. Good morning to everybody who's lurking away. Appreciate it. If you're not familiar with me, I'm Liberty Street Rock. This is the home gym. I'm down here Monday through Saturday at 5 a.m. getting our cardio in. We got a little off schedule earlier this week, but we, as of this morning, are back on schedule. Fighting the winter colds and dealing with a calf injury. But we're all good now. It's pretty much 90 plus percent back to normal. All right, let's keep it going. We got the music going. We got the light show going. Woo, yeah. We're feeling the uh, effects of the cardio now. The heart rate is, is elevated. So that's all good. We're liking that. Not breaking a sweat. It's a little chilly down here for that, but we're getting close. <laughs> we are getting close. Psycho, are you still there or are you off to the gym already? He usually tells me when he's leaving. I 
can't really see. I don't think he's gone live yet. No, he's not live yet, nope. Yeah, not too many people live yet for, for fitness in the morning. Still chasing it here, we're going after it. Looks like we got some ads coming up here momentarily. I can kind of see it on the screen, the warning that the ads are coming. Stick around, we'll be back after, come on back after the ads. I, don't, I can't tell how long before they're gonna be breaking, but Frosty will be popping in here momentarily and telling us. <laughs> We'll have to see what Frosty Tools gives us this morning, that's for sure. Check out the socials there. The uh, Bob Ricks there has got the uh, link. Check out the uh, Home Gym Fitness uh, links. Very active on social media, from TikTok to Instagram to uh, YouTube. Yeah, we got them all there. Check them all out. We post daily. Always post something. soon to a chat near you in a world where fitness reigns supreme chats humor pumps up the scene psycho commando brings the laughs with cheeky size references while barrix keeps us connected with social links follow for push-ups subscribe for games liberty rock stream is where the heart races and the chat entertains fitness frenzy chat gym builder there you go There you go. Okay. Start. Oh yeah. Appreciate it, Stars. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, we're getting the bike ride in today. We're getting her done. Okay, I wasn't too far off. 20 centimeters is almost eight inches, just shy. <laughs> just shy. There you go, now we all know. here so we're doing all right we're getting it done after this we're gonna do our ab circuit uh, then we're gonna move on to stretching 
So that's the that's the uh, plan for this morning. We're going to target three rounds on the app circuit, uh, and then from there we'll uh, get into uh, stretching. That is the goal. All right, we uh, we got a hockey game tonight, so I'll watch the first couple of periods and see how my Leafs are doing. Should be a good game. They're playing the Islanders, and the Islanders hate the Leafs, so and the Leafs hate them. So it should be a good game. <laughs> should be a good one. And the Leafs are on a pretty good string of wins right now. I think they got four in a row, they said, so that'll be good. So it should be a great game. Uh, don't know who they're playing Saturday. I don't even know. how to look it up. I don't keep that close to track. It's, you know, close track anymore. I kind of watch from afar. I mean, I like to watch the games and all that, but, yeah, I don't pay, like, read the newspaper every day like we used to back in the day and read all the notes, what was going on with the team behind the scenes. I, I don't really bother with that. So that's good news. Um... And we got today's Thursday, so shoulders, tomorrow's legs. I feel pretty confident we'll be able to do it. I don't think the calf will slow me down there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pay close attention to it, uh, but I, I think we'll be fine. And then Saturday morning, uh, even though it will be a snow fest, I'll still be down here getting in the cardio, uh, some extra biceps, triceps, and shoulders this time. I'll uh, we'll definitely do that. Then I'll have to get outside. If, if the snow comes the way they're all claiming it is. Uh, and either shovel or uh, get the uh, snow blower out. One or the other. But uh, yeah, we'll have to uh, have to watch for that. We'll pay attention. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Maybe I'll try and live stream it. <laughs> I'll set the... Uh, camera up in the window in the living room there and I'll just uh, I'll have the uh, live stream going off the phone <laughs> that'd be kind of funny you never know I might I might actually entertain that I, I could be kind of cool to do but uh, never never done it before it would be totally um, I wouldn't be able to follow chat I'll have to mark right in there uh, chat you know not being followers I'm outside so <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we'll see. I mean, listen, a lot of the times these, you know, weather people get on there and, you know, they predict all these snowstorms and they predict all the snow that's coming. And here, specifically in southern Ontario, they are not very good at it. They seem to miss it all the time, so... You know, we get all these warnings, and then everybody flocks to the grocery store and stocks up. And then, oh yeah, the snow didn't didn't arrive. So, I mean, to predict a big snowstorm coming in, you know, like four or five days out, because they were talking about it all day yesterday, Friday night, it's coming. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, it, it's very possible that it will, but you know, at this stage. Trust me, I, I've been around long enough that, the, I mean, they were going on and on and on about the snowstorm the other day. Trust me, that was nothing compared to what we used to get. I mean, they were going on and on and on. I mean, it snowed for about four hours, and then all of a sudden, that snow turned into rain. Boom. It was uh, it was just a, a mess after that, so I don't know. They were going on and on and on about it, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what Saturday morning brings when I wake up. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. I'll be down here doing some form of cardio, getting in some extra biceps, some extra triceps and shoulders. That's all. That's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that matters. So 
if it snows, I'm ready. I got the shovel, I got the snow blower, I'm not too worried about it. We're ready over here for whatever they bring. Tomorrow's legs will be getting the hack spot set up, the landmine hack spot, one of the home gym specials that I love. So we'll definitely be doing that. Uh, we'll get the stiff leg deadlifts going, love those. We'll get the hamstring curls going. Probably some leg extensions, maybe some lunges or sissy squats. We can do them all, so looking forward to that too. Legs is, a, is something I, I actually enjoy leg workouts. I know a lot of people hate them, but I actually do, I don't mind them at all. So I mean, chest is probably chest and try is probably my favorite, but I don't mind leg workouts. All right, we're burning calories here. All right, let's wrap up this bike ride here. About nine minutes left to go. getting her done. Don't forget if you're lurking, throw a follow. Appreciate it. If you're hanging out, stop in, say hi, don't be shy. We're here doing our morning routine, getting that cardio in. We're going to get our ab circuit in next. Uh, we got some crunches, we got some leg raises, we got the ab wheel coming back out for another appearance. Uh, we got some weighted obliques we're going to do. Uh, we're going to finish it off with an L crunch. So we're going to get on to that shortly. Appreciate you lurking and hanging out. Frosty Tools coming back again. We got another round of ads popping in. Thank you for your patience, your support during these ad breaks keeps the stream alive. Which common dining utensil was once considered sacrilegious? Find out when the ad ends in about a minute. All right, which one? Was it the fork, the knife, the spoon? Which one is it? Let's have a let's take a guess. All right, so sacrilegious. I'm gonna say the fork. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the fork. That's my guess. Let's see what. Frosty Tools comes back with an answer. Whew, okay. Starting to feel this cardio. We uh, are on the verge of sweating, even down here in the uh, coolish gym this morning. Forks were once seen as sacrilegious, as it was thought they were trying to replace fingers, which were God-given utensils. There you go. I called it. I said the fork. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Amazing. So how's everybody doing today? Everybody good? We're, on, we're already at Thursday. Just got to get through Friday. We're right back at the weekend, which is fantastic. Hope everybody's had a great week so far. Mine's been a little up and down, but we're, uh, we're still hanging in there. We're here in the gym this morning getting it done. I was feeling under the weather on Monday. Tuesday, decided to blow my calf out, which, uh, thank goodness, it wasn't a tear. It was just a severe sprain. 
and uh, good old fashioned ice fix that up with some bio freeze and massaging and trip to the chiropractor. Shoulders and calves. All right, you take care. Psycho's off. Psycho Commando. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, I think it's the spring in the back, yeah. I can hear it. I gotta look at it, I just haven't had a chance. plus minutes we just got less than about four minutes to go and we are all done cardio appreciate everybody who's hanging and lurking and doing their thing appreciate it this is fasted cardio by the way because I haven't had anything to eat I've had one coffee this morning and that's about it so yeah that's all I've had so far. Coffee and then I've got my bio steel drink, so that's it. That's all we've had for the morning. And uh, we'll get our ab circuit and stretching in and then eventually I'll get to breakfast. <laughs> It'll still be a little while yet, that's for sure, so. We've only got about, yeah, we're at almost 42 minutes. So three minutes to go, and then that'll be our 45 minutes, which is awesome. We'll get the bike away. We'll get the bench out of here. Uh, minor setup for the ab circuit, and away we go. The ab wheel, obliques, yeah, so... Uh, we're trying to look trim. <laughs> uh, just continuing with what I'm doing. Um, you know, cardio, trimming the trimming the you know the food plan down a little bit, keeping losing more fat, you know, uh, and, and pushing for a little bit more size. So, you know, uh, even though I'm 55, you you can still put on muscle at my age. It's very possible to do it. Just and the big thing that you talked about with me before was being consistent. And that's what we're doing. So, yeah, we're trying. We're trying. We're, uh, I'm staying very consistent, you know. Uh, so, the goals this year, more size, lose more fat, and stay consistent. And so far, I think we're doing okay. You know, we've had a couple of obstacles, you know, you know, fighting the cold on and off for about eight, nine days didn't help. A um, little bit of a, you know, obstacle, but we managed to make it through. I didn't never, I never really did get a full-blown cold. It was close, 
I was certainly under the weather. Um, the calf incident, you know, that was about a day and a half, but that will slow me up for about a week because I just don't feel comfortable trying to do some high intensity cardio right now. You know what I mean? Like that's just not going to be part of the agenda. So we'll make do with other forms of cardio while it heals. I mean, I can walk, but I'm still walking a little gingerly, you know, going a little light on my feet. So Okay, we're in the final minute of our 45 minute cardio odyssey here. We're getting it done. Oh, I appreciate it, thank you. Appreciate it. And likewise, I do like to get into your streams. It's, it's tough, I can't deny, I can't always get in there, but I do my best when I can. Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. 45 minutes, done. Whew. All right, that was awesome. All righty. Let's grab our book. Let's jot down all those numbers. Woo, okay, let's get off. All right, there we go. All righty. Alright, so today is January the 11th. Alrighty, so we did a bike ride this morning. burned 206.7 alrighty all right so we'll get ready for abs okay let's uh, move the phone the music over here
Alrighty, let's start the ab circuit. Alrighty, we've got good old fashioned crunches. We're gonna do leg raises. We're gonna do the ab wheel, which we have right here. Uh, we're gonna do obliques. I've got the uh, band right here. Uh, and then we're gonna finish off with an L crunch. All right, so let's get started. By the way, what time is it? I gotta keep tabs on the time. Let's see if we can catch the time there. Okay, 5.56, okay. Alrighty, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, leg raises. Okay, obliques. One round down, we're gonna go for three. Okay, we're almost ready to go again. The ab wheel, I'll tell you, I got that for Christmas. <laughs> man, I used it the first week. Oh, man, abs are on fire. Like, fire, man. I couldn't stop. <laughs> My abs were so sore. I was like, man, that thing's just savage. But, yeah, it's been a good one. So, alrighty, let's go again. Crunches, leg raises, ab wheel, obliques, and L crunch. Let's go. Let's do it. Round number two. Okay, ab wheel. 
let's go. Okay, put that aside. Obliques. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Next up. And the elk crunch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Okay, let's mark that down. Whew. All right, two rounds down. Okay, hold that thought for a minute. Okay, let's get round three in on the abs. Crunches, leg raises, ab wheel, obliques, and L crunches. Here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Here we go. Ab wheel. Okay, obliques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, right side. slow down the pace a little bit. Let's get some stretching in. Some much needed stretching. All right, bear with me a moment.
need to learn the secret to cheap Canadian cannabis? At Bloom Supply, we're more than just an online dispensary. Okay. All right, let's calm the pace down a little bit. Uh, we'll get some much needed stretching in. Uh, it's only 6.08, so we're doing fantastic on time. I appreciate everybody hanging and lurking. Appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly, by all means, you can ask them. Chat's open. Uh, if you're new here and you're just lurking and you're new from whichever platform you're watching from, stretching is something I do every day. It's very important to me. I've been stretching on and off for years, uh, very diligently dating back to, you know, 20, uh, 2011, 12 is when I really started doing it daily, really getting into it. Um, you know, and on and off since then, I've been very, very diligent in stretching. There were periods of time that I did miss um, where I didn't stretch. But uh, a, a large majority of that time, I did. I only stretch when injured, so you could say I stretch often. <laughs> I stretch when I'm injured as well, and thankfully I'm not injured all that often.
needed that desperately. Okay, Frosty Tools was back up. Newscast update. The chat's buzzing with trivia and tips. Frosty Tools just wrapped up an ad break with a cliffhanger about Japan's feline dominated Ashume Island. Actually, okay, I can't pronounce that. Meanwhile, Stars and Bars admits to stretching only when injury strikes. Ouch. Hinting at a frequent need for flexibility rehab. And don't miss out. Botrix is pushing their daily YouTube fitness content. Stay tuned for more facts and fun. There you go. Still a little tender. Not bad though. Considering where we were two days ago. Nice, nice. <laughs> uh, I'll let him know that. I'll let him know. Uh, it was, it was. 
was good for a group of uh, 20-somethings. It was, they're, actually, they're all 20, actually. I should say 20 something. They're all 20. Uh, yeah, I thought they did pretty good, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. So I'm glad you enjoyed it anyways. Give those biceps a stretch after yesterday's incredible workout. Okay, let's get this side in too. Alright, let's get the chest stretched too. question that I'm intrigued about Frosty's got posted here. This, I have to admit, I want to see. What 
Do you know the first item ever scanned at a grocery store? That I want to know about. Okay. There you go, right there. How funny is that? Can I get? A, can I zoom in on that? No, I, I got it. I'll zoom. I don't have to get. I want to get a picture of that. funny actually Time to wrap it up. It's 6 30. Heck of a morning. Heck of a great workout. Appreciate everybody that was uh, hanging out here. Stars and bars. Kojo Dan. Psycho was in here earlier. Appreciate it. For those of you over on uh, Kick and YouTube, appreciate it. Uh, we're going to raid out over on Twitch. Uh, if you haven't, hey, make sure you hit those follow buttons, subscribe buttons, like buttons. Uh, let's let's uh, keep growing the channel. Appreciate it. Let's uh, let's go raid somebody. Have some fun. Appreciate it, Pojo Den. Appreciate it. We're gonna go raid Psycho. So uh, if you can stick around for ten seconds, we're gonna go raid Psycho Commando. Stars and bars. Appreciate it, man. Right, let's go raid. Psycho Commando. Okay. Raid's going to commence in about five seconds. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you this afternoon for shoulders. <laughs> 